Hi, this is Dr. Nick. I'm here at CES 2020 at the Digital Health Summit. Delighted to be joined by Roy Jacobs. He is the uh, Chief Business Leader for Personal Health at Philips. Roy, thanks for joining me. Happy to be here. So uh, tell us a little bit about Philips. I think the unique nature of this organization is you straddle both worlds of the consumer world, we're here at the Consumer Electronics Show, but also the professional world um, from a healthcare standpoint. What is it that that brings to this space and why is that so special? Yeah, I think uh, one of the big trends we see at CS already for some years is that consumer health is really picking up strongly. Enabled by new technology and data, uh, consumers getting more interested into the health. Um, but data alone or quantification alone is not good enough in our eyes. The real added value comes from real qualification of those data and then turning it back into personalized advice or actually making the connection to the professional side. And that's where we can build on our clinical know-how, our research and expertise that we have from our professional healthcare business to make that at use for the consumer health side. So I think you're, you're innovating in the, the professional side and those um, industrial grade uh, sensors, but also straddling. I mean, you had some interesting announcements around uh, dentistry and, and mouth and oral care. Share a little bit of that. Yeah, I think what we're looking at is a solutions approach where we're looking at a domain more comprehensively. So it's not about the toothbrush alone. We made the toothbrush uh, smart a few years it's ago. It's not just the technology, it's right? It's not, not the technology, then it's the data. But then this next step, it's not brushing alone. You need to floss as well. But at times you We do? You, you do, <laughs> and we, we have devices for that too. Then you need to make your connection to the dentist because you cannot only treat yourself and help right. yourself in prevention. Right. You also need to have your regular checkups. Now, we make that easy by teledentistry, where also if you have an instant need, because not always you are surrounded by your own dentist, you can actually ask within a few hours whether you can get a report and a recommendation. Um, but we also, taking in our area, from sleep, taking the professional insights of more than a billion nights of sleep, turning that into an algorithm that actually then turns into a consumer device right. where we keep you longer into slow waves in your sleep and you recover better. So then actually we turn the knowledge of the professional side into consumer application where an oral actually we use the oral behavioral change part to actually make the connection also to the professional side. So it's interesting, you know, all of those things interconnected. I mean, I specifically trigger on this whole sleep area because huge issue, huge problem. We see that in the data. But here you are, you're gathering all of this data and then turning it back and providing it back to the consumer as well as to the clinical professional, right? Yes. Now, and I think that's also what we see here. So there's a lot of interest in consumer sleep. It's a new area. Uh, consumers also need to be accompanied, need to be educated, need to be made aware what their sleep issue and problem is. That's also why we don't only talk about a product. We start actually the journey with Smart Sleep Analyzer, which is a survey tool that we have again developed based upon collaboration with researchers and physicians so that as you can do the first good analysis of what your real problem is. And then we can either uh, get you into the consumer solutions, but if you have a serious disease, you need to go to a doctor, right. you need to go to a sleep center, and we can also help you there. So actually setting out the pathway from that consumer initiation and understanding, and then moving it all the way through the clinical profile as necessary when that becomes the case, and providing the insight to allow people to get to that point. Yes, we want to act as a trusted advisor that actually really brings within the domains of relevance the advice, the content, the services, and also the hardware products where you need them. And then connecting it to payers, because we also launched here a collaboration program with Delta Dental, where we actually make the bridge to the insurers that are very interested in increasing the regime of prevention of the consumers, but they're also looking for help. Now we can actually incentivize that by saying, what is the individual personalized behavior? Because we know behavioral change is difficult. It becomes more easy if people have a personal interest. That personal interest you can create if it's about them. If the data show that's their teeth, right. their gum problem, and it's not a generic statement of you need to do two minutes exactly. of brushing. Yep. No, if it's for your teeth, and actually you smile better, you have less uh, problems or less pain, you have a different incentive to actually change your behavior than a general uh, statement. Driving down to that personalized healthcare for the individual and bridging the divide between the professional and the consumer side. Exciting times for Philips, right? Very exciting. It's a sweet spot that we, we're really happy to develop together with the different ecosystem partners. Because also as innovation uh, driver in this space and shaping the consumer health domain, we know we cannot do it alone. Just remains for me to thank you. Dankuel, Roy.
Thank you. It was a pleasure. This is Dr. Nick. I'm here at CES 2020 at the Digital Health Summit.